the news, President Mohamed Buhari has called on the university in Nigeria to be more proactive in ensuring that their graduates are employable. He said many Nigerian graduates were being described as unemployable by some employers of labor, saying this was worrisome to his administration. Buhari stated days at the 31st convocation of the Federal University of Technology, Akure, Undo State, on Saturday. He was represented by Dr. Suleiman Yusuf, the Deputy Executive Se Secretary of the National Universities Commission, NUC. According to him, the present government considers education as a cornerstone of national development with universities as the pinnacle of education, being the engine of knowledge and, general, and generation and dissemination. Joining us live to talk about state of education as regards this matter is an educationist, Mary Ohagwasi. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, ma'am. It's my pleasure, please. Now, in your opinion, would you attribute the unemployability of Nigerian youth to poor quality education they got while in school? It's part of it. Okay. I would like to say that education has moved. Education is not just to prepare a student to move to the next class or to the next level. It's to prepare them for life. And if you ask yourself, are they really being prepared for life? For instance, the workplace of 21st century, are they considered in their curriculum? Is it just to pass exams? What they have been doing in the last 20, 30 years cannot function in 21st century. And hence, there is a gap that needs to be filled. There are skills that need to be imbibed in the curriculum of 21st century. And one of them is employability, okay. vocational studies, digital skills, and more. So would you say, would you say our youths are getting the, the requisite skills needed to be relevant in the job market? They are not, in, especially in comparison with their, their counterparts all over the world. They are not. So what, what can be done in this regard then to ensure to make them more employable? We need to sit down and, and, and tinker. Then let's, let's involve people in the industry. What do you want from the people you want to employ? We need to, we need to include them when we're doing our policy for education. They need to tell us what are the things they want to see. For, for instance, an engineer coming to work. What are the things so that this, these students can be ready from school? Yeah. Not coming out, going back for a retraining. Some of them, five years, they are still training for them to be able to work. It does not pay. And then when they go abroad, they go back and do the same so all over again. It does not pay us. And that is what they do abroad, for instance, as, as they are training you in school, you are going for internship. You are going to different companies to do internships. So when you come out, you are, you are, you are work ready. You are work ready. Our, our youth are not work ready. Okay. Now let's talk about quality in relation to quality and global standard. How would you access our educational system so far? As I said, because we, we don't follow trends. As, as, let's benchmark ourselves with what is happening globally. Because we're in the global world. We are not. We're not ready. It's like as it were, a sleeping giant. And it shows in everything. And you know, education is a subset of the society. Our economy is not working, education is not working. So it's a subset. And then go back, what, what is the attention, what is the interest of the government in education? You will see it from their budget. Yes. When you look at it in line with other things. And let me tell you, if we can fix our education, we can fix everything. We don't spend so much in security when your youth are secured because they're the ones causing problems. Yes. If you can take care of your youth, you've taken care of everything because 100% they are our future. Yes. So if you take care of your youth, you've taken care of everything. And that is what other clients are doing in the world. And we are not yet there. And that's the truth. Uh, you're an expert and an ed educationist. So what would you recommend going forward that we should do and put in place to be able to churn out graduates for, for the market and also make them employable? I want us to stop talking and stop thinking on what to do for this youth. As I said, involve the, the industry, involve the leaders in the industry. These are the people that we employ these people. And then let's talk less of employability. Let's talk more of deployability. How do we deploy these people to solve problems in the society? It starts from the, from the curriculum. It starts from the credo. What do you teach this young one? Not just to pass exam, not to do math and English. Beyond that, what, can we, what are the skills they can acquire while in school? Yes. It will go a long way. When a, when, when a student leaves in school, you say, I want to work in Shell or Chevron. You think, of how, what, what problem can I solve for the society? It's when you solve problem, you get money. So when they leave school, they have a ready work to do for themselves. And if they get a job outside themselves, that's a plus. So it's uh, deployability, not well, employability. Well, so thank you, Miriam Hagwasi, for joining us on it's News my, on the Hour. This is what Samuel Aosite with you this afternoon. Thank you very much. It's